In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use inner classes to handle events in Java. So in this first step, we're going to define what an inner class is. So an inner class is a class within a class. So for example, let's say you had um, a class dog. And inside that class dog, you had another class. So the dog class, or the class dog, would be known as the outer class, and the class inside that dog class would be known as an inner class. So an inner class has a special relationship with the outer class. This special relationship gives the inner class access to members of the outer class, as if it were part uh, of the outer class. So to sum up, inner classes have access to all members of the outer class, whether they are private, uh, public, or uh, protected. So um, this is how you would uh, create uh, an inner class. So as you can see, we have our main class, which is also known as the outer class here, with its uh, constructor, and then you'd have all the code inside that constructor. And then inside this same outer class here, we have another class, which is in this case called inner class. And again, this would have its own uh, constructor and methods, etc. So uh, in the next step, we're going to see how to apply this um, in order to handle events uh, in Java. So meet me in the next step. So in this step, we're going to see how to apply an inner class in order to handle events. So if you recall in the previous video, um, we used a listener to, um, to create an action on our button login. And we did that by implementing um, the action listener uh, class in directly in our outer class here. So we had a public class login panel extends G panel implements action listener. And then we added the, um, the action listener on the button. Um, so we're going to see how to do this with an inner class. So this is a different way of doing it. We're going to have the same result, but this is just a, a different method to do it. So um, in s what we're going to do to start off with is uh, add our action listener on our button, which is here. This is where we created our button. So login button dot add action listener and then we're going to type new button listener now button listener is going to be the name of our inner class that we haven't created yet so let's do that now <clears throat> let's do that underneath here so we're going to type class button listener that's the name of our inner class implements obviously action listener I'm going to open up the brackets because it's a class and then we're going to have um, our action performed method so like we saw in the previous video public void action performed so action event and then we're going to call this e <coughs> open up the brackets and then we're going to have our action that we want to be performed so in this case, uh, we want login button to have its text set to um, you have clicked on the button, for example. <clears throat> so it's exactly the same thing we saw in the previous video. It's just a different way of doing it using an inner class. So uh, this seems all right. Yep. Now let's just run this to make sure that it works. Okay. And as you can see, when you click on login, you have clicked on the button it appears. So that's how you use uh, inner classes to handle events in Java.